Sri Lanka has achieved great progress in growing its economy and reducing poverty. Yet too many women are left out of the labor market. This is a missed opportunity that has serious consequences for Sri Lanka's continued prosperity. Unless Sri Lanka taps into the potential of women, it will not be able to realize its full economic potential nor support its rapidly aging population. Sri Lanka's progress in human development has favored women. More girls are going to school and fertility rates have fallen. Yet women's labor force participation has remained low and has even declined in recent years. Young women have the highest unemployment rates. In both the public and private sectors, women are paid less than men. This gender wage gap is increasingly determined by discrimination and less so by qualifications. So, why are Sri Lankan women being left out? A new World Bank report points to three key reasons. The first is housework, child and elder care. These responsibilities fall disproportionately on women. Second, there is a human capital mismatch. Women are not acquiring the skills that are demanded by the labor market. Third is gender discrimination in hiring and promotion. Women find it harder to enter high skill and management jobs. Sexual harassment while traveling to work and in the workplace is another deterrent. How can Sri Lanka ensure that women are able to fulfill their potential in the economy? Reduce barriers to women's participation in paid work through safe transportation and childcare services. Also, strengthen girls' early orientation to education and skills that equip them for labor markets. Educational institutions should better prepare and match female students to high-skill jobs. In addition, ensure gender equal labor laws and non-discriminatory workplaces through ethical branding and zero tolerance towards sexual harassment. For more information on the issues and policy solutions, read World Bank's report, Getting to Work, Unlocking Women's Potential in Sri Lanka's Labor Force.